you guys don't know, this car was built on the channel, basically. Five guys, all doing $1,000 each. It's a good thing we got that cage in, eh? Yeah, that was leading off idle, though. All right, guys, we just loaded it up. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We got a roll cage for the Sierra, look. It already fits. So we decided just to save ourselves some time and uh, get this good deal locally. This was the reason I put a turbo on my car. Oh four was because of this car. Do we need like red flags on there? Well, that orange bar fit over. Well, we made it back. Didn't fly out of the box of the truck and the box didn't fall off. Current chassis cert, guys. The shit horse is basically, uh, well, not a race car. It's legit. Safer street car. That or we're gonna make this into a winter sled. That was my it's original a idea. on the bottom and, uh, actually, you know what? It has seat. It has, well, it has, it has subframe. the subframe <laughs> connectors. That's basically a ski right there. <laughs> Let's go, let's find a hill. We live in the prairies. Or pull it behind the truck. Or pull it behind the truck. We need more snow though. <laughs> And a seat yeah. and a harness. It's no. basically Leroy. <laughs> yeah, we'll just build a Leroy out of this thing. All right, let's get it out of here. Get it out of here. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we'll fit uh, no problem here. Here, put it down. Oh, we got a fucking double hump. Uh, That's what I said. Cross member. Yeah. Spare one, or if you need one, Riley's car. Well, I guess you modified that one. Yeah, right? no, we're good, but it's just nice to have. Drive shop loop. We can save for some. And some subframe connector pieces. And then we'll have to cut the door bars there and there. We'll just cut them right off. It came with uh, swing out door bars, which also, we might, we which might we might use. use. So then only thing, once we put it in the car, we'll have to weld this and we'll have to weld to the floor and the door bars and that'll be basically it. All this can be re-welded outside the car to clean it up. And then whatever we do with the door bars. I think the hoop and these, hopefully maybe we, we can get it in the car and you know what I mean? And then these bars here, I mean, it looks like there's lots. Like if he cut these, he didn't cut much off. So the only thing about- We could always reshape these too. Yeah, I was gonna say them. like, the only thing about these bars Back is- seat. There's, Back seat. Yeah, so need, we, need we might wanna just cut these off and make new ones. Yeah. Or re-bend these and go like straight and through the, you know what I mean? Something like that, which is no big deal. And then cut these off, get rid of those. Yeah. Well, that's not a bad bar to have. That should go to the upper torque box. Well, we can add those back. And there sure. Should be, should be another bar from here to the lower torque box. Yeah. I mean, we could add those, whatever. Slide. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Look how nice this thing slides. Well, I can't see why. lights. We might have to take this for a slide down a hill, I think. Yeah. It, it slides. Make like a good video. Down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put a couple seats in there. Yeah. Maybe not four, but two. You might go. You can hang on the back for ballast like this. Woo! <laughs> like a sleigh. A sleigh, yeah. Dog sled. We need to, yeah, attach dogs to the front of it. Well, you got those three dogs at your house? I don't know you gave not them. Not anymore. No, yeah, they dogs. ran away again. Awesome. And it's starting to snow again. Blizzard. <laughs>
These guys were afraid to race the car without a cage. They revealed it the other night when we talked about buying a cage. Well, I'm not a fan of going super fast with no cage. Rob doesn't care. Rob would jump it off. Yeah, no, cage. Rob definitely uh, raced it. I'm not scared. Yeah. Call me the pussy then, I don't care. It's just funny because you always said, nah, I just no interest. And when we're getting the cage, you're like, oh, thank God we're getting a cage. I can race it. <laughs> yeah. I'm all good to my uh, family from dead. Yeah, it didn't really go that fast, though. So what's 136 miles an hour? I don't know, hit a wall, I know. For those new to the channel or not up to speed, here's some of the best times the shit horses ran so far. 10.53 at 136 and the quarter mile was the best, is the best. 189, 60 foot is pretty slow, was pretty slow. And in the eighth mile, uh, 693 eighth at 109 miles an hour. What's the, oh, went 111 in the eighth mile at Gimli, but... 172 60 foot is the best one I found out of all these slips. Definitely doesn't 60 foot too well, but that's why we need the uh, trans brake and the rear axles and all the other upgrades we're gonna do to it. 136, that's it. See, it's got the, I guess this is for window net. It had four, I guess. I don't know if we'll use these, but whatever. Swing outs. Well, yeah, I've never been a fan. The, we, can, we might use the tubing if we don't have to use them as a, I think the harnesses will be the biggest Swing upgrade. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, or a movable steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, having harnesses in the car will be nice upgrade. Considering the seat belt, and the seat belts don't really work very good in there. <laughs> a little loosey goosey. We got something accomplished today. Yeah, big uh, prize for the shit horse there. And yesterday. Prize, part. Oh, and yesterday. Yeah. Someone. Yeah, we went to the junkyard yesterday. We didn't record any of that, but. Uh, well, you'll see in their video, but we found an intake like that when we we're leaving right next to the shitter. The truck was so smashed, we barely recognized it as a new, new body style Chevy. So That's where they keep the GMs in the junkyard next to the shitter. Someone wants to pull that engine, it's going <laughs> to suck. It's against a fence and a porta potty, basically. <laughs> it's going to be the shits. Yeah. How much do we pay for that cage again? Uh, 325 and a T-shirt. SPP shirt. Yeah. yeah, I just looked it up on SNW race cages fab page. Basically, with shipping and taxes and everything, it would have worked out to be like six hundred fourteen dollars to get a cage kit. So uh, we did all right. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of work to cut it apart, to put it in, but then there's also a bunch of stuff that we're not going to have to cut apart that's already welded, you know, and and notched and all that stuff so the labor to notch everything and i think it should be yeah okay. as far as the budget nature of the shit horse definitely fits i don't know how many people buy cages like this but recycling what's up what are you doing nothing just, just doing some organizing i saw you in the cooler back here oh i was just unhooking the battery because I have some kind of draw, battery draw, and if it sits, it kills the battery. And but when I do a draw test, it doesn't really look like it's really drawing that bad. But yet, if I leave it for a week, then the battery dies. So I just unhooked it so it doesn't kill the battery. I don't know. If you guys didn't know, that's a battery box. It is. Secret. Wow. It's a battery box, but then there's also a tub in here that you could put a little bit of ice and drinks in there if you. Gate springs. So we just got some extra goodies and things. There was an ice pack in there when I had some cold cold drinks in there, cold pops. And uh, I gotta make a, that's another thing I gotta do this winter is make a hold down for the battery. Cause I don't think this would really be NHRA legal to just have the <laughs> lid closed. So we're gonna give her a hold down in there. Make it it's pretty good looking. Make it more legal. Or you're making it bigger. The cage is good looking, yeah. No, like it's nice and symmetrical. Yeah. No, I, I, it'll be tight to the roof. It's roof. gonna work. It's gonna work out good. We're in the big leagues with the roll cage. Yeah. Well, and then we have some other ideas, right? Too. What do you mean? Upgrades. Take my trans. Oh, we suspension out of it. No. Ra it range your axles and a trans brake. Send us your used trans brake. Everybody has a used trans brake for, for a sale. turbo 350. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Send her on down. Yeah. Or a whole transmission or a power glide or a turbo 400 with a trans brake. Or... Yeah, we need a trans brake. That would help. 
And we got uh, and put a glide in. We got a K member for it. We just got to order a coilover conversion kit so we can put coilovers and a K member. Also, we need to look at two control arms for the rear, for the front, or for the front. Like because <coughs> we, we have the tubular K member, but we don't have the control. We're not arm. using the stock stuff. Well, we can, yeah. Yeah. But we could. Well, the you, stock arms, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, we are possibly. Well, we're gonna have to because that's all we got. What's another yet set that comes up? Did you put new ball joints in Riley's control arms, lower ones? Yeah. Maybe we should use those ones then. They got new ball joints already. Yeah. If we're going to use the stock ones. Thought about making some, but yeah, we'd, have we to jig, we'd have to jig them up. We've got to make a jig. Yeah. We'd have to take them off somebody's car. Do the jig. we just take them off the Sonic thing and the struts and the coils. And we wouldn't have to worry about replacing them. Put it on the blocks <laughs> and the transmission while we're at it. Yeah, we're no. Pretty much set and ready. Good to go. transmission, and all the rear suspension. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Turbo upgrade. Go eight ninety. Eight ninety nine. That's another thing we're thinking about making this a no time car going forward. Fans love the no time racers because they go to watch cars and, and then hear how them. fast they go and then can't say. So. Yeah, but just for it being a uh, street weapon, as Randy would say, as far as that. Maybe we want to surprise people. We're going to surprise people. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody's shit. Around. Basically, we've gone faster than any of the Team Mexico racers at this point, so... If we can make it hook, that'd be the key. We've got to leave that lean in it, though. I don't want to take that out. I want to leave that... <laughs> well, when we weld the roll cage in, we'll just jack up the corner. <laughs> so it's tilted, and then once we weld it in and put it down, it'll just permanently have that in there. That's another thing we could make maybe. It's a anti-roll bar for the back. We need an anti-roll bar too if anyone has one. Yeah, <laughs> again. Anti-dentite? Anti-dentite. You're a rabbit anti-dentite! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's basically the plans for the shit horse. It's the plan, Stan. <laughs> the secret plans then now hopefully a couple thousand of you will see luckily we put the shit horse away with the running engine this year so we're already ahead of the game for next year we'll have more time for these upgrades and less sticking around with uh, that kind of stuff hopefully That's anything it. else to say said it all yeah all right it's all been said. uh link in description for uh shirts shirts we got merch we got merch check out our merch yeah, I mean, you guys uh, <laughs> practically begged us for it, so. Yeah, so start ordering it. Cause yeah. <laughs> we're having our big, uh, what did this one be able to say? Our 0% off sale. Yeah, and it's giving right away now. a uh, free subscription to the channel with each purchase. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, check that out. Check it out. And until next time, uh, we'll check you later. Check, check you later. later. <laughs> He's, he's counting down to 10 minutes. He's like, all right, we're at 9, 59, oh. 9, 6. Oh, no, we surpassed that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>